How do you feel like you're doing? I feel like I haven't played in a week. <laughs> I just got here this morning, so. But my drives are good. I can't complain about my drives. So Paul, I know you get a lot of questions in person and online about trying to stay in shape. Um, yeah, you know, I get asked a lot, like, what do you do on the road? I know you don't have a gym, you know, and things like that. But uh, honestly, this year is the first year I'm really going to do stuff. And thanks to the help of you, you know, you've been going to the gym a lot and learning a lot. You, know, you got a workout plan that we're doing Monday through Friday, and even on the weekends, that schedule that we're trying to stick to. Um, as you can see, like Monday, it's all upper body, arms. Tuesday is legs. Um, Wednesday, you got a lot of core stuff and stomach. And then Thursday and Friday are kind of like a cross between them. It's not the hugest list out there, but it's enough to stay in shape and get in shape. And um, you know, it's the first year that I get to do this, so I'm trying to stay ahead. Uh, but I know a lot of other people out there doing the same thing getting in shape and you know you're gonna see a lot more competition so we're down here at old settlers park um yeah two weeks ago i took second to kevin bates um i played those courses blind i never do that i don't think i've done that in like four or five years but it was just such a long drive um but uh you know i was still able to take second learn those courses for eight tier in two weeks three weeks i don't know somewhere down the road but yeah now i know those courses so i'm ready for the eight tier but yeah, now I'm down here, at the, down here at Old Settlers Park, learning the course, learning the wind. I hear it's windy here all the time, so uh, getting some practice in. Um, lots of OB, lots of OB, lots of long holes. So we're getting these destroyers prepped and ready for this tournament, and uh, looking for that putt, and uh, you know, just preparing, trying to be prepared this week. Because uh, last time I was in Texas, I really wasn't. Paul, how do you feel about the current weather situation and future weather situation for this weekend? Um, it's perfect today. Probably like five mile per hour. It's nice and warm, but from what I hear, it's not going to be like that this weekend. I'm expecting rain, which is never fun, but you know, we all got to play in it. And how do you feel? Um, are you comfortable with this course right now, or would you like yes. to get some more practice in? It's really open, just a lot of like OB lines and you know 
from what I hear, it's supposed to be windy this weekend, so a lot of hyzers and stuff like that. A lot of overstable drivers. And uh, I don't know how big of a factor putting will be. I don't know if you got to make all your putts, you just can't three putt. It's the biggest thing. So we'll see how the wind really affects everyone, especially with the distance on the course itself. Here we go. Round the doorstep. Put it on. Oh, get in! Yeah! <laughs> oh my gosh, get that. You gotta see this reef. Alright, you got this. You got this. Come on, Paul. Get over there. Oh. Oh. Alright, come on. What you want? Oh, get that out of my kitchen. Oh, yeah. oh. Shoot. Shoot. Shoot it. Shoot it. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Zero for 90. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Who else? How are you going to change your game since your practice? The wind's not actually as bad as it has been, but it's freezing out today. It's probably like 50 something right now, which is cold compared to yesterday. I think it was like 80. Someone kind of suffered from yesterday, so it's definitely a big change, um, and I think nobody's ready for it. So we'll see what happens. Um, I just gotta keep them in bounds on these first seven holes. I'm gonna try to attack the back half, so should be should be good. Two minutes on tee off. Macbeth on this first night round shot. Hit it. Wait a minute, you're a lefty? Yeah, I just he throws tried. both. And it's I off a it. house. But I, I haven't
going into the final round of the Texas States. You're about six strokes behind the lead. Um, you played a pretty good game yesterday, but a couple mistakes. Uh, what kind of mistakes were you, th were you making? Um, yeah, like you said, the round went really well. I had 15 twos, um, I think 16 course birdies. But my mistakes were on the par threes. I took two double bogeys yesterday, which one of them's a pretty gettable par three, which I should have gotten. And the other, the other guys in my card all two did, so there was a three-stroke swing right there. But uh, I mean, just keeping it in bounds. Those two fives that I had, I threw both of my drives out of bounds, and then had really bad upshots. So it's fixing those mistakes and doing exactly what I did on the rest of the holes. And, if I want to come back and win, you know, I got to shoot at least 55 or better today on this win. That way it puts pressure on Ricky to have to shoot in the 50s, which, you know, it's not guaranteed depending on how windy it is. And from what I hear, it's going to be windy and rainy and cold, so it's not going to be too pleasant out there. For Florida, sitting on a total throw count of 117, Paul McBeth. done with the Texas States. Uh, could you give us a recap of how the uh, tournament went? Yeah, I mean, it went pretty well. Uh, I finished third uh, a few back. I think I'm 12 because I'm a Ricky. Uh, but it was like extreme as could be. You know, the first day we had a, I think we had a south wind. Pretty breezy. Uh, Ricky lit it up, shot 11 07, which is pretty good out there. Uh, then uh, day two is really calm, really calm. I was able to play pretty well. Uh, I had 15 twos, 15 twos out there, which is, I think there's only 17 holes that you can two. And the two that I missed, I ended up double bogeying. So that's really what caused my score to be not so great uh, or not as good as it could have been. But uh, I was still in it and then Sunday, it was cold and then it was a north wind. Continue to follow interstate 40. It was a north wind and kind of each day it was different. So Sunday was south, or uh, Friday was south, Saturday it wasn't too, it was minimal. And then Sunday was a north wind, which kind of was an advantage 
up into a point, you know, if it wasn't so cold and it wasn't so windy, I think we could have scored pretty well. But uh, I ended up finishing third. I had a I had a seven and a five back to back, but uh, you know, I was still able to shoot 10.53. So I mean, I can't really be mad at that. That I could you know, play so poorly in a round and still be able to shoot above my rating. So you know, it's kind of a positive that I can see. You know, I can see the growth in my game. And, you know, even when I do have two terrible holes like that, I can still keep it together. Shoot, you know, average. So you know, it's something I gotta take as a positive more than a negative because it is, it is really good positive being able to you know, play so poorly but still be able to, you know, keep it together. I guess have it be above average in most people's eyes. And where are we off to now? Um, we are off to Fayetteville, Arkansas. Uh, hang out with one of the junior team members, Madison Roger, and uh, her dad and uh, his girlfriend. And uh, you know, we're gonna hang out with her, see what she's all about. You know, she's really good. I met her a few times, and uh, you know, kind of see how she's feeling about the team and see what she's doing, what she's been up to, and uh, you know, just kind of get to know the junior team members a little bit more. And then uh, from there, we're going to Branson, Missouri for the one-stop Journey, Journey Post tournament. Um, here it's a really cool course, old uh, old golf course. It's maintained pretty well, so I'm kind of excited to see that course, the Tree Lodge, I believe it's called. But uh, there'll be some good competition there, and uh, should be a fun tournament. Awesome. Anybody you want to thank or anything like that? Yeah, I mean, down there in Texas, uh, of course, into the champion days are always supporting me. Um, Crush clothes, uh, carrying the grip bag around, and then uh, you know, shout out to Ideal Disc. You know, they got some good things going. Uh, they're down in the Dallas Fort Worth area, so don't be surprised if you see that name soon. And then of course, uh, Kyle Sattel. You know, hung out with him all weekend. And then uh, Nate and Krista for allowing us to stay at their place. They're awesome people, and then it was nice meeting their family and their daughters and dogs, and you know, just enjoying our time there. So it was a blast, and you know, can't wait to go see some 